Welcome back to another Secrets of the Pros. On behalf of the Department of Youth Services, I'm your host, Andrew Rayburn. And uh, I want to say, hey, fans, um, try a little bit, um, try something different this year, um, um, this current year. And so uh, hopefully this is going to give a little bit more insight. on. Um, but we're going to be talking about um, mixing um, a professional modern dance hall. It has a lot of fusion with um, hip hop and pop, and I want to show how we get the uh, the big sound and uh, decisions uh, we make, and the reason why we make it. So I'm going to play a little bit of this song here uh, from the artist Dan D. It's called "Talking to the Fathers." So let's get a little feel of that. Big up the weary father, them not out no spring to wanna. Big up this single mother, them I know you say you do it alone, daddy. I know who make you now, daddy. I who mind ya. So parents we no bad mind, no me show we know what's I know. I'm a talking to the fathers, yeah. We have a son or a daughter, yeah. Nothing them for shut up, me want prepare them for the future, yeah. And the single mothers, yeah. We have a son or a daughter, yeah. Nothing them for shut up, me want prepare them for the future, yeah. You see me daughter before she born, she got everything. No me she touch the world, she no shut up nothing. She is my little queen, me no get me son yet, but when he born, he's gonna be my little king. Baby mom, scared child, no fool for me. Come here, I want you to care. And there you can hear the um, the guitars coming in, and um, you know you're 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 getting the the the, the nice professional balance. So let's jump straight into it. Um, I think I should just go and touch on generally how I get the the mix to be balanced, right? So I'm gonna show a little trick here. Um, you guys know about EQ. Um, stuff I do and the reason why I do it and always um, most of the time I end up high passing some low end like this instrument right here I'm knocking out about 155 here from from this keyboard if I turn the EQ off so a little bit heavier but we don't need that that's one of the mid-range stuff. And uh, the reason why I do that because I want to make room for the kick drum. Um, for the kick drum, uh, let's see what I'm doing here. I'm probably compressing that. I'll already show you guys that. Um, I'm just going to go through fairly quick. If you, if you don't understand, just go back and, and watch the video. I'm sending out through a SSL compressor and a Puig Tech. Let's play the compressed signal. Give it that more oomph to it. Uh, let's compress it a little bit more. About there, songs are a little bit better. And um, I'm going to knock out a little bit of. bit of that harshness there I hear okay it's about wrong one key yeah okay so on um, EQing kick drums what you want to do is uh, make sure you're taking a little bit of low end out I'm gonna high pass maybe about 35 it's about 35, about 35 there. It makes room for the bass guitar, right? And uh, I'm going to bring in the hi-hats here. I'm not doing anything special. It's a little bit of high pass here. I'm boosting a little bit of highs. Let's go back. Now, you might say, Ray, how do you know where, um, how, how the volume should be for the hi-hats? You just got to feel it out, man. Um, just listen to a lot of uh, Rihanna, Chris Brown music and listen to the balance of the hip-hop, the hi-hats and those stuff. Now for a simple uh, snare drum like this, I'm using the SSL um, channel. 
uh, the, S the SSL uh, channel plug in here. I'm giving a little bit of drive. Turn it off. A little bit soft. Turn on. That adds a little bit harmonic to the snare drum. So already you're getting a more defined uh, present snare. That's a little trick to get things popping. And um, the trick I want to show with the kick drum is normally whatever kick drum could be live, rock, pop, hip hop. You want to go on the EQ and you want to take out a little bit of um, 110 around that area. A little bit of the 100. Just a little notch. So that makes room for the bass. And also for the bass guitar. Let's bring in the bass. This is an 808 bass I'm using here. I'm rolling off a little bit of 60. And I'm, I'm probably compressing that. And I'm adding just a guitar amp to have it more well defined. And on the combined signal, I'm taking out a little bit of 219. So 219 is going to make room for the kick as well. Rolling off a little bit of 30. Um, let's go to a little bit. Of, let's go to about 6. Maybe 40. About 30 will do. So you can hear the balance already in the music. So EQ is your weapon. And um, I have a pad here, a, a percussion loop from Contact. I'm actually boosting some mid-range here on this thing, about 2K. And it sounds great. You might say, but, well, Ray, why do you do that? I'm going to get in the way of the vocals. No, it won't. There's no rules. Just uh, make sure you don't overdo. Now I'm going to go to I have a keyboard here. I send the, his sample to sample one. I'm just repeating his um, chorus line whenever he sings. That's what you hear. And I'm running that through a uh, uh, GTR stamp box. So um, the guitar um, also, I've, I've done a little EQ on uh, SSL. I'm knocking out about 120. Yes, I said it, 120. And that's making room. The guitar still sounds fantastic and gigantic. And um, on the main mix bus here, I'm adding a secret weapon. Well, it's been around for a long time, but I'm adding the max bass on the master bus. And I'm, most of the time, the harmonic saturations tend to work for me around 60 kilohertz at about 5 dB in the max range. Let's uh bump up the up what I'm hearing here, um, I need a little bit of more. I'm going to take a little bit of the 110 like I did. I'm going to add uh, one more EQ. And we're just going to boost maybe around the the 60 or 50 range here. Let's get a little bit more oomph. And so uh, let's do that. I'm going to... So make one daily, weekly, yearly Tell me what you say, but you not hear me Talking to the fathers Yeah, look at son of a daughter Yeah, not on them for shatter Me won't be paid I'm 
And there you have it, folks. A uh, well defined um, fat mix professional. And uh, link us on YouTube, and we'll catch you in the next one, guys.